everyone, welcome to another Top Table video. It's Jay and Steve, and we are starting to prep for Cheshire. I know, yeah, stressed, very stressed. Very stressed, it's Friday afternoon. We're leaving it all to the last minute, yeah, standard. Yeah, standard last minute, Steve. And today we are picking up boards from my house, and we've got to go to your house. Yeah. And we're dropping off mats and terrain at the venue. At the venue, yeah. But this is going to be the start of the hobby vlog, so we're going to keep you posted with the weekend. We'll show you the boards, the tables, the games. Uh, have a chat with some people there, maybe while you want to attend an event. And some cool announcements. Yeah, a couple of cool announcements yeah. coming as well. But yeah, just a quick one to start us off and we'll keep you updated with the weekend, guys. Cheers. So we're going to give you all a bit of a sneak peek into Steve's hobby cave. Uh, every, people only usually see this bit where he does his uh, amateur filming. But we've got paint for days up here. So his little hobby area. We've got books. Are some of these in the raffle? Uh, not them ones, then. Oh, let me know if that box. Oh. <coughs> toys, toys. Here's the, uh, sorry, on Peggy's converted for me. Yeah. Yeah, then we got boards, 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 boards. Lots, shelves. Lots lots and boards. They're not actually shelves, they're boards. Yeah. So we're going to be packing all this up, what we got up there. A oh, couple of sneaky prizes up there. We've got some wetter stuff. Uh, I think I can just keep one of them for helping <laughs> run this. And uh, yeah, this is this afternoon's work. Right, where, where are we up to? This is what goes into running a tournament. This three, three is hours. a big wheelbase van. And three hours later, what you can't see at the back behind the late town board is 12 custom boards oh. screwed down. We've got way over 20 boxes of terrain. We've got extra boards, we've got mats, we've got some prizes. Uh, we're knackered. Cooking. But we're looking good now, right? Uh, how much more to do today? What have we got left? Uh, well, might drop it at the venue. Drop it at the venue. Back to eat. Get some snacks and raffle stuff. Raffle tickets. Raffle. So we've got plenty left to do. You need to help us out on the raffle tickets. That's a hire a van. <laughs> Steve's van blew up yesterday. We had to go and hire a van. So this is the prep well underway for Scouring and Cheshire 2018. Welcome back to day two of the Scouring and Cheshire 2018. It is a cold that morning. You see Steve doing a bit of work Steve there. Steve doing all the graft as per. Yeah, well, someone's got to keep the channel running. Uh, so we've been up since five I left my house this morning. Um, we're now here setting up all the tables and stuff as you can see. Um, <laughs> it is still very much night time <laughs> uh, and we are just going to get all the tables up then we're going to bring the boards in and we've got a couple of hours before everyone gets here but the kettle's on the heating's on and we are looking forward to the day of gaming ahead. Look at him grass. So here we are, kicked off, already in round one. Probably about three quarters of the way through. Uh, some people have finished. Everyone seems to be having a pretty good time, from what I can see. Um, you can see all the tables. Here we go. So we'll just show you a few clips from round one, we'll come back, we'll try and get some player interviews and reviews and get as much info as we can and hopefully this will spur you on to uh, attend one of the GBHL events if you haven't already done so. So we'll come back soon. Hello, Hi. Hi. Ryan. it's Tom and Ryan. Um, we're at Scarlet Cheshire. Cheshire? Cheshire? Yeah, Cheshire 2018. Cheshire. First one of the year, first tournament. Yeah, Burn League opener, it's been brilliant. Yeah, uh, my first time at Cheshire. I don't know whether yeah, no, mine too. Yeah, so I oh. heard good things about it last year, so I thought pop up this year. And I think what people have been saying is true because it's extremely, yeah, extremely good time in this one. Steve, I, sh I shouldn't do videos of the boards up because they're all amazing. Yeah, well, Steve's done a really good job of getting the terrain out as well this weekend, even though there's a band broke down. Yeah, band yeah. or something. Um, yeah, so I definitely recommend a trip up here if you can next time it's on. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, it's one of the best tournaments I've been to. Um, all tournaments are great, but this one, you know, everyone's out on Saturday night. Everyone's uh, enjoying themselves together. And, uh, yeah, great fun. And the league opener mm -hmm. to boot. Yeah. So we shall see you the next year. Who yeah. else watching? Yeah. Hey guys, and uh, thanks for watching again. Um, this is Steve, obviously. Uh, another scout in Cheshire, which up to this point I think has been a success again. Um, very, very lucky that these events run like they do and they get the attendances that I get. Um, everyone seems to be having a really good time. Uh, yesterday went well. <coughs> it 
was a struggle, excuse me. It was a struggle in the morning getting everything here. I had some nightmares that you all went to. Uh, we got everything here in the end, got everything set up, and we managed to start on time and even claw some time back uh, throughout the day, which is nice because it just means that the evening time we get a little bit more time to socialise and speak. Because uh, when you're playing games, you know, you see people you've not seen for a few months, but you're so sort of enthralled in the game you're playing, especially if you run into time every game, you don't get a chance to speak to these guys. So the Saturday evening, uh, for me, is one of the most important parts of why I attend tournaments and why I host this one. Um, so thanks for watching. We're going to try and get some uh, player interviews, as I've said, and uh, you can get the point of view of the guys who are actually here, who are paying the money and coming and taking part, and uh, hopefully that'll spur you on to attend either Scar and Cheshire or any of the other GBHL uh, events throughout the year, or even just the standalone events that's hosted by members of the GBHL community um, who just host events that don't count towards the league, because even those are really awesome to go to. And sometimes, depending what you want to get from going to tournaments, could suit you better. Um, you know, if, if you're not competitive and you just want to go on a day of fun and get have, whether it's a one day event, two, two day event, and just meet other players and play other players and sort of hone your skills in with, with your force, then they're amazing also. So make sure you get to an event this year, at least one or two, um, and I, I promise you, you won't regret it, regret it. So we'll go over now, get some more footage, I'll look at some of the, what the players have got to say, and uh, I'll see you later. Hello there, Hi. it's Mark, and I'm Josh, and we're at the Scarring in Cheshire, uh, Steve's event. Um, just ask us a few words about the event, uh, what are you thinking so far? I'm having a great time, it's yeah. always really fun. The boards are probably the highlights, they're all great. Even like, there's, there's sort of tears off them, and even the ones that are worse compared to the others are still better than most other events, so it's great fun, great venue, uh, just, yeah, all around great. Yeah, like you were saying, the boards are just the best boards I've seen at an event. You don't have the standard five big pieces of terrain and just a map, it's, it's all detailed, intricate uh, details. Um, and the bars make it, I think, make it the best, one of the best events. Um, but yeah, we've just had a match, really fun match. Yeah, really great. Yeah, yeah. and uh, all matches have been really good, actually. So, uh, yeah, definitely come along next year, he's doing one next year. Mm -hmm. um, if you can make it down, it's definitely worth it. The, yeah. out, the tickets yeah. are really fast as well, so... Yeah, they do, If yeah. you can, yeah. just keep an eye out for it. And any other GBHL events in general as well, they're always all really good, all really well run. Everyone in the community is really friendly, yeah. and he's going. And, whether you're looking to compete, there's people there for that, and even if you're just you know first time tournament, never come before, uh, there's loads of people that are really friendly, just easy going, and there for a laugh. Yeah, definitely. Like we only met about an hour ago, yeah. <laughs> and so it just shows that you even if you've only just met someone, you still have a really good game and a really good weekend. So mm -hmm. definitely come on to the next one. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. See ya. See ya. Hey guys, uh, game four, which is game one of day two, well underway. Uh, as you can see on the other side, I've come out into the pool room uh, just for a little bit of quiet. Uh, we've got, I think it's six players on three wins from yesterday going into today, so it's quite tense at the top. But we do have um, some sore heads, I think. <laughs> some of the players had a heavy night last night. I myself had an early one, I was home for half ten. Uh, had a meal, which was fantastic, um, and went for a pint with the lads and then headed home, so I'm nice and fresh today and uh, available to make all these cups of teas and coffees that people are going to want. Well yeah, I'll just show you um, the view of the room from this side. As you can see, try and not get the reflection in the glass. Everyone's hard at it. Um, getting a really good reception again this year. They get thin. <laughs> and Robbie. Um, yeah, good reception for the boards, good reception for the setup. People really seem to like this venue, which is cool. Um, we do have some plans for the scouring going forward, myself and Jay. Um, it's kind of going to be a joint effort from now on, because I do need a bit of help. Um, you know, I've still been building all the boards, we've got extra boards, um, which I didn't manage to get finished. <coughs> so, I'll still be building boards for these events, with new stuff coming out all the time. Uh, Jay's going to help more in the organisation uh, and helping out in the spreadsheet. Um, as I had last year with Mr. Matt Woods helping me out. If I didn't have help from these friends and uh, colleagues in the community, I'd be stuck and wouldn't be able to put this, this event on. 
but yeah, I'm really happy with how it's going. So the penultimate game is underway. Top table this time is down at the far end. As we always do at these tournaments, we like to switch up the table numbers. So table one is not always the same board, it changes every round. Uh, that's just to make the most of the variety of boards that we have uh, at the Scouring. And uh, it just offers people another challenge when they're picking their army, building the lists. So there we go. We're going to come back in a minute. Um, we're going to try and have a chat with a few of the players. And yeah, get some point of views from other people and see where we go. Hi guys, so we're at the Scour of Cheshire 2018. Uh, we've just played game five. Yes, we have. First we've, game to finish. First game to finish. We were on top tables. Smash Mash along with on table two. Yes. Um, Last uh, game's Team England, Mr. J. Clare and Mr. Giblin. So the, the English continue doing very well so far. Uh, we've just played recon, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Uh, I'm a terrible, terrible, terrible human. Mm, yes. Mm. Uh, it was a close game ish. Uh, everyone 4 3 by getting your general off to prevent me denying any points. You black dotted my general. Yeah, you were not wanting to commit three might on a roll of one on a fake wing. Yeah, no, not really. Not with, with moves and strikes possibly needed. Uh, and then proceeded to sort of pop your over race to something to end the game in order to, yeah. to claim the. I mean, Having yeah. more off than me and taking the general point, and then yeah, I get the break in. Kind of break in, more off, general, 4 3. Mm. However, there's still a game left to go. Uh, it's still is, in the yeah. balance. Um, what we're wanting to say today, really, is that uh, we really enjoy the event. Always, yes. Um, Steve's a great host. Yeah. Um, he's got Jay Finnegan helping out yeah, this weekend. Yeah. Uh, Jay's getting the spreadsheet correct. I think we only had all weekend one. One miss. Yeah, I think so, not much. There's a well. It's going really well. Yeah. Um, community's really good. Yeah, we had a fun event night last night. We went for a meal, good 30 of us. 44? Really? Wow. 44 of us going out for food. Yeah, and then a lot of us stayed at the pub afterwards. Drinks. Time. And then a few of so we went out, went still out until 3 a.m. Four, maybe. Yeah. I went to bed. I'm getting old, I'm getting tired. I'm a bit under the weather, so I went to bed. I had a nice kip. <laughs> so, now, yeah. oh, well. So we, we, we all have a great weekend, don't we? The belting prizes, amazing boards as always from Steve. Lots of uh, wet workshop stuff, yeah. um, which is always good. Um, lots of other collectibles that yeah. sort of mostly non-workshop stuff. There's a couple of workshop items, a couple of Forge World items, but the, the majority of the prize is is wet workshop, sort of United Cutlery proper proper mm. collectible stuff. Because a couple of minis painted by um, Kev, Spectre. Kev Spectre, yeah, Shadow yeah. Flame, yeah, it's good. Mm. Incentive for theme and most sports and things like that. Yeah, like really good prizes that are distributed down, so mm. if you're not Team England or, you know, Harry, <laughs> yeah. um, you, you, they're still really good, the community's there, the prizes are there, mm. and certainly um, there's also the raffle, so if you're gonna be mid-table mediocrity, um, there's still there's still things, prizes to be won. Oh, lots lots of cool prizes in the raffle. Yeah. My only my only joke, Steve, is the waiting service. It started very well where the teas yeah, yeah, to yeah. the table. Teas to the table, and then yeah. from round two it stopped. Yeah, yeah get like, your own lads. What, so that was this? Uh, we're playing what games. What is this? Yeah. Games workshop. Yeah. Table service. Uh, Sam Page's events. Sometimes table service. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's good. Um, <laughs> Element. Any event held at Element by Mr. Giblin, Mr. Clark. Uh, table service. Um, so there's no table service. Come on, Steve. Um, but that is about the only negative. Yeah, you can't fault it. Yeah, it's, it's been great. So if you can actually get a ticket, because he tends to sell 50 odd tickets in yeah. about the bat of an eyelid. Very quick. Okay. Get in, it's worthwhile. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Prizes are awesome. Really good. Awesome. Really good. Good prizes. And it's, it's yeah, it's. It's a well set up tournament. I think you always get the top contenders coming. Last year was a was a close draw. Yeah. Um, and Steve is doing another one this year. He's running a, a team event with Jay in the summer. I think that's running at Element, but that sounds really cool. Yeah, the team it's teams event. of three though, isn't it? Is it three four? I don't know. If it's teams of three, which which Englishman's which going to get shot? Well, the one that's not at top tables at the moment. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. Let me you, Jay. Your <laughs> <laughs> team, strong team. <laughs> Right, we'll stop blabbering on, guys. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Have fun, come back, get tickets, see you next year. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. bye. <laughs>
Jay Clare, Jamie Giblin, table two. It's basically Team GB dominating the event. And then further down, we've got the usual suspects. It does get All exciting stuff. So we'll come back shortly. Welcome back, and it is now round six. We're nearly at the end. We're Getting nearly there. at the end. Getting there, mate. Getting there. Getting it's there. tense at the top. It is. Some tight games going on. There's been a lot of draws up at the top tables as well, which yeah. is interesting. Yeah, I think there's still a chance it, it could be possible of three or four yeah, people, we've got depending Ed, on the Ed and Harry on top table in the last game. Yeah. Everyone's having fun, and we're finishing with two to the death, which is good. It's a nice straightforward, yeah. have a bit of a ruck, and so, hide your banner. Yes, hide your banner. <laughs> um, in short... This guy's helped me out loads this weekend. That's uh, what I do. Can't thank him enough. And going forward, scouring, Jay's going to be involved in generally. Um, got some good stuff coming, haven't we? Yeah, we've got 100 pointers and 80 pointers in the league. Yep. Um, hopefully going forward every year. So yeah, between the two of us, I can crack on with terrain and getting boards together and Jay can deal with all the, the boring stuff, basically. Yeah. Um, but yeah, <laughs> get yourself down to one of these events because they are awesome. Don't miss it, guys. It's good um, fun. And we'll see you shortly. Mm. The last round is now underway, and I'll give you a bit of a look around. Hi, Jamie Gibbon. Hey, mate. What's up? Good? Good, good. Smile, Barney. Oh, no, no. There's <laughs> so some hangovers in the room today. Here's another one. Casualties of war. How are you, Callum? That's how Callum is right now. <laughs> but there's some pretty toys. It's all good. Okay, gents, just want to thank you all for coming again and supporting it. It's a pleasure putting it on, and especially getting a sellout the last three times that I've done it. Next year it's going to be slightly different, we're going to switch it up a bit, but there'll be more announcements. But hopefully, we can squeeze more players in because I had so many on the reserves list, it was just insane. Um, we've also got the team event on the 13th and 14th of July and this week we're going to be releasing early bird tickets for that. The tickets are normally £100 per team for a team of four but we're going to do it for £90 for a week for people who register early so we can work out how many people we're going to have this time. Right, thank you everyone for the money you put into the raffle, it has helped. Um, as most of you know, I did have to hire a van, but the raffle money goes straight into next year's raffle prizes. Last year it did very well on the raffle heads. The good stuff. We'll get straight down to the nitty gritty. Now, uh, most sporting, we got quite a lot of votes for everybody, so I mean, that just proves that it was very, very friendly to all of Yeah, so everyone was like on like one or two. Um, we had one other person on three votes. Uh, I think it was, was or two more. Two two or three more. Yeah, well, the winner got four votes, which is pretty good. Um, all but two games. And they win the Tom Bombadil display piece from Shadow and Flame, which is awesome. Um, and the winner of that is Mr. Matt Woods. Tough one. Um, there's, there's, there's some, the, the level was really high. 
And I've noticed that the more tournaments, not just the scouring generally across the UHL, the, the, the level of painting is improving massively and it's quite hard to choose. Um, but there was one that stood out for myself and we both seen it and thought, that's the winner because it was awesome. Um, and the winner gets the Saruman paint by Shadow and Flame again. And it's Alex Bratner. Can I just say as well, there's a shout out to Will Champion for uh, Best Paint. Oh, really? He was close because it was still a really cool army. Um, now, Best Steam is the next prize, and Best Steam will be winning the Sauron bobblehead with the Army Painter Gamers Helper thing with lasers and all sorts of fancy <laughs> stuff. Can we try that again? <laughs> uh, again, this was quite close. This a lot went for theme, you weren't all filth, there was a handful of filth, but a lot of you went for theme, which was really nice to see. What was this? What was this? What was this? And before I say who the winner was, I just want to give a shout out to Josh the Voice, yes. who was very, very close to theme. I mean, the nine race <coughs> was the board, it was, was going to be you. And then we bumped into another army and thought, wow, you know, it just, it did just fit you. And the winner of that is Tom Jennings. Yeah. What was the theme? Uh, Arnold, Arnold, Arnold. A lot of conversions and things. Very good. Okay, so we're now on to the leaderboard, and we always do a wooden spoon trophy. So the wooden spoon this year <laughs> goes to Henry Carney. to the big guns, first, second, and third. Um, the way it's going to work with the prizes, which are the Weta, uh, Peter Jackson's Corsair, Gandalf, and Shelob, I'm going to call up the three podium players in the order that they win, third, second, first, and then obviously first gets to choose which one they like the best, second, and then the third one's like the third. That's the fairest way to do it. So it was really close at the top. Um, we had to check and double check a lot of things, and in third place is last year's winner, Harry Moore. <laughs> second place, again really close, really tense. So that's it. Again, thank you all for coming. Scouring's finished. If we can give our winners a round of applause. event in July. If not, keep an eye on the Facebook group for Skyrim 2019 because it's going to be something special. We're going to improve every year and the next one's going to be big. Jason went on board to help me because I need the help. I can't do the boards and do the admin because I can't work with the computer. <laughs> so yeah, so it's going to be bigger and better. I can put more time into that. So again, thanks for coming and safe journey home guys. Alright guys, that's it. Um, the Scouring 2018 is over. 
I hope you enjoyed the footage we got this weekend. Uh, apologies for being quiet, it's quite late, we've just made it home. And I just wanted a quick clip to round this off. Um, hope you've enjoyed the footage this weekend, checking out what a GBHL event is like, why you should come to one. Um, apologies, there's a bit of a lack in <laughs> day one. Things got busy um, and it was crazy, but I've had a great weekend. Hopefully everyone who attended had a great weekend and you've seen enough to inspire you to get to one of these events. And big shout out to Steve yet again, he has smashed it out of the park. So if you are in doubt, I hope we've convinced you that you should get to a GBHL event and come and meet us and hang out soon. So that's it. That is the Scar and the Cheshire 2018 vlog done. I hope you've enjoyed this video guys and you'll see us in some more content soon. Happy Wargaming.